everyone zeddy here again with another show down in the badlands card review we have the remainder i think the remainder of the demon hunter cards including a high lander payoff that is like the coolest disruption card ever you literally shoot the opponent's minions in their hand we're gonna go over all of that as well as if you want to win these cards and you want to uh enter our giveaway for two regular pre-orders two mega bundles out of my pocket like and comment in the video description below be subscribed to the channel we are just barely over 400 subs away from hitting 75k and if we get that milestone by blizzcon i'll add another mega bundle so hit that sub button make me go baroque so let's take a look at the cards uh starting off with a pocket sand a two mana spell uh for demon hunter all these cards are for demon hunter and it's demon hunter card review how about that isn't that crazy uh deal three damage which is like you know the norm for two mana since like frostbolt dark bomb although dark bomb was like did nothing extra until they buffed it recently however there is of course additional upside quick draw your opponent's next card costs one more that is super annoying. We already know with like the Frost Plague uh, in Death Fight right now that when you draw that, you take two, your next card deals one. That could be super impactful. So you just play this, let's say on two, that like you, you remove a minion, I don't point at base. That could just slow your opponent down. That could be really useful. It could be just minion removal. It can just be burn. It does have to have the quick draw effect to be live, to actually do the thing, right? It's not always active, so that's not always super consistent. But then at the end of the day, it's two mana deal three. These cards almost always, almost always like see play at some point. It's a good card. Demon Hunter can use it in multiple decks. I assume this will just see play. If you get the quick draw, that's great. If you don't, it's still two minute deal three, which is just fine. And you know, you discover this, you create it as well. That'll give you your quick draw. I'll give it a three out of five in standard and wild. Again, I don't think it's gonna be like completely crazy or anything like that, but it is a good solid card that could slot into multiple Demon Hunter decks decks and well what about this card what about fan the hammer a four mana spell again no spell school these aren't fell spells so they're not going to work uh, at cycling with that whole naga thing um well actually it will cycle it's a spell i guess uh, it just uh, just disregard that fell spells don't matter for that fell spells matter for like you know fell synergies and all that so yeah you can cycle with this but it's four mana it's gonna be pretty hard to cycle it's not a cheap spell anyways enough of that incoherent rambling from the man without the lighting i'm waiting for my light bulbs uh four mana deal six damage split among the lowest health enemies so i'm assuming it'll it'll start with the lowest health enemy kill it and then move to the next kill it move to the next so until it's out of damage right i would imagine how that that works so if there's like a 12 health of minion on the board and the enemy hero is at six this is lethal right i i would imagine it doesn't say like split randomly i would just imagine it would just go straight to the lowest target or i guess it would put the hero or it could like put something low and then that goes low and it bounces back and forth, right? I guess it could work like that, right? So there's like two two health minions, puts one to one, goes to the other, goes to one. I imagine it, it's just gonna automatically target whatever's the lowest. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good targeted removal. Um, obviously bad if you're trying to get rid of a big thing because this won't target it that efficiently. But again, even if your opponent doesn't have anything on the board, this can go face, so it can be a valuable card. It's just for Demon Hunter, we all know, they don't like to spend much mana. It does seem a little bit more on the expensive side, but it's a board control tool. It amplifies with spell damage. It can go face. It's got a lot going for it. It'll be, I'll be interested to see if it actually sees play. It's really close to me. I'm gonna lean towards no, because it is four mana, and Demon Hunter is just such a, like, they really rely on ruthless efficiency, which we have seen, but maybe in the Highlander deck, right? If you wanna play the Highlander deck, you can only run one copy of each card, or 30 cards, or 40 cards, you're playing Renathal. Maybe this slots in as a one of. I'll give it a three for that reason. I, maybe I see it as a Highlander card in standard, and I think the payoff, the, um, the payoff is pretty good. We're gonna take a look at that next. And again, we're waiting for that neutral neutral reno that i feel like it's gotta be that neutral highlander card that'll really put these decks over the top because yeah some of these wig like highlander cards just don't feel worth hard running just for that but 
if there's a really good neutral option, I'm sure it will. So three in standard, two in wild, definitely uh, a decent card. And then we have the Highlander payoff card for Demon Hunter, a five mana, four, six minion, Gunslinger Kurtris, Battle Cry. If your deck has no duplicates, fire six random shots, two damage, four, sorry, fire six random two damage shots. So that's like 12 damage at minions in the enemy's hand. So, um, this was released by a matcha dog here, or they have like a video here showing how it works. And basically they play it and it just goes off and shoots and destroyed a bunch of minions in their opponent's hand. And the animation's also pretty darn sick. So insane disruption card, right? That's like what, 12 damage? You could just destroy your, your opponent's hand, but they have like two six health minions. Maybe you take that out, could kill a Sith. It's an insane disruption uh, tool and you can play it pretty darn early, right? Like you might just destroy their hand or they're spell heavy and they don't care, right? Or they're playing priest and they're holding like triple uh, Titan already and you you manage to like damage some of them. Cause I imagine they'll stay damaged in your hand. You play it for a lower health, right? If it doesn't kill it. So it's totally unique, different disruption card. I think it's really cool. Um, people will probably rage at it because any disruption card people rage at, but you gotta play Highlander deck in a class that probably doesn't like traditionally ever really want to play Highlander and it it has a pretty crazy payoff and I feel like it's somewhat thematic for Demon Hunter you know being toxic and infuriating and shooting a bunch of damage but it can't go to the face so it is purely a minion disruption style thing and yeah if your opponent just holding a bunch of spells uh, this isn't going to do a heck of a lot, but pretty much every deck has, you know, a good amount of minions. And if it's spell heavy, the minions that have are really important. So this hits that that'll feel really darn good. So Highlander Demon Hunter going to be a thing. Well, Gunslinger Kurtis will be a big part of it and we'll have to wait and see obviously the neutral payoff card, but I'm giving it a four to five in standard, a four to five in wild, where you got Zeth, Reno, a lot of cool cards in wild, Dragon Queen, maybe he can make it work. I remember an old friend of mine, Frobro, getting rank one legend with odd Reno Demon Hunter way back in the day in wild. So maybe that'll come back there, probably not, but still, I'll give it a passable grade. I think it'll be a strong card and one that I will see many, many Reddit threads on. And uh, wanna give you guys a quick update. Tomorrow's gonna be a crazy day for card reveals. Uh, we had all the Demon Hunter ones, we three today. Tomorrow they're releasing all the Hunter cards that got postponed and Rogue tomorrow. So we're looking at like four or five different reveals. So stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of cards to talk about tomorrow. And if you haven't entered that giveaway, make sure you do. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay shooting my friends. Yeehaw. Oh my God, that was cringe.